Hey, what is up, you guys? This is Andy Ray. Uh, for this video, I'm gonna show you of how I created my own Springtime voice. Because <laughs> someone has been asking for tutorials, so I'm gonna give it to them. Okay, so first off, um, just first, I uh, this kind of gave me. This kind of took me a little while, like two months to actually get this right. Um, so first off, I added the vocoder to uh, 44 and uh, set it to T15000. Uh, if you added like different selections here it's not gonna sound right so I set it to T15,000 then I added a, a bit for a robot uh, robotifier uh, I added the mix to 39 modular 1 25 modular modular 2 43 yeah the bottom's already, already up to 100 then I added a bit of distortion to mix 26, drive 21, volume 12. And then a reverb, mix 25, room size 56. Uh, and, and then I added double pitch. Mix to 100, pitch 1 to 60 for me. Uh, I also um, turned on the humanize one. So if I can go ahead and, well, I'll show you what the difference was this on and off. So if you can see here, the humanizer one will actually sound like this. So if I turn them off, they will sound like a gun and like this. But she probably do not want. So yeah, this makes a big difference. Yeah. So so yeah, you wanna have this on. Um because it's gonna sound a bit weird if you have this off. And of course, the mix two, I set it to 16. Uh, then I put a pitch two to 45. And I had to humanize two off. Which you, you don't want it to sound, um, how you say, more like human-like, you know what I mean? You want to sound at least a little bit more of a robotic voice. Just a little bit. So then I also added the pitch. Uh, another pitch. So I set it to 100 in the pitch uh, to 20. And I turned the humanize on. Uh, the chorus yeah I had this on I know the mix is 45 frequency to 23 def is 79 and the pan uh, to 52 I mean I don't think the pan matters but I, I just put it there in case and then the equalizer So I mixed it to 100, low frequency to 10, gain low frequency to 20, mid frequency to 11, gain mid frequency 28, high frequency to 18, gain high frequency to 62. So yeah, that's pretty much what I have done. 
Um, it did took me two months to uh, to actually do this, to do all of this, because it takes time. You had to like, you had to. Hey, hey, stop it! Hey, stop it! Stop it! Stop it! What did you stop it? I told you. So yeah, uh, I, it took me a long time, well not a long time, but two months actually, two months to actually do this, because it, it takes some fiddling to, uh, to get it all right. So I'm going to see, I'm going to show you what happens if you, let's say, switch to a different mode here. So let's go with Hey Man, alright? So this, you have to make sure you had it to T15,000 or else it's not gonna sound right. So I'm gonna give you an example right now. So this is gonna... Um... Yeah, this is how it sounds with this. Well, actually, I don't think it... Sounds any different. So if I had a phantom power, um, well, actually, hmm. man, okay. Um, it's probably okay. So I don't think. That it matters of what you put in. But I decided to uh, put to D15,000. Yeah, that's what I put. Because I think it sounds more clearer with this, in my opinion. But I think it doesn't matter what you put with these. Um, so the robot fire, uh, of course, these matter because if you slightly at least, like, nudge it to, like, 35, it's gonna, it's gonna change your, how your robotic tone. So, if I like this, of what I did. Um, it, like I said, it took me a while to do. You know, I, it, it's, it's, I guess it's up to personal taste, I guess, of how you want your spring trap voice to sound. For me, I just go for whatever I had. Also, you also have to uh, adjust your own vocal cords as well. It doesn't um, like if you speak into it normally, it's gonna not sound like <laughs> it's creepy. You know what I mean? But yeah, you gotta have to make your voice sound like a bit raspy like a little raspy and a bit of a deep tone too just a little bit it depends on 
how your voice sounds really. But yeah, um, that's pretty much it of what I did. So yeah, that's that's it really. And that's what I did for Voice Mod. I hope this helps you. Uh, otherwise, I don't know how else I can help you. <laughs> because it, it it takes a lot of steps to do this voice in particular. So, yeah. Uh, thank you for watching my uh, little tutorial. Like, again, I hope... It helps at least some of you who have voice mods and wanted to do a screen tap voice. Uh, it's really fun doing it, actually, even though it took me a while to do this. It's, it's been fun to do it. Yeah, uh, if you guys are new, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Oh yeah, one more thing. Feel free to like the video if you enjoy.